All right. I wonder if Mitch knows that absolutely nobody is paying attention to this game. I know they're all paying attention to Brandon where <laughs> he has a milk fetish and he's just going on about this fucking shit. I don't care. I'm having fun with the game. You guys have fun in your chat. I'm going on the boat because I got my invitation that I stole off of that old man and I should be Not good. you again. How many times do I have to tell you? This is a private party, and without an invitation, you are not allowed to go on board. Bitch! Sheesh! The nerve of some people. Watch out! Yay! Let me see that. Signed, Russian Blue. Russian Blue? Who that? Oh, sir. We are ever so honored to have you on board with us today. Oh, why, Please, thank you. Feel free to come and go as you wish. Why, thank you. Yeah! How gracious of you. Yeah, thanks. Suddenly your, your fucking mood changes like that to somebody I got a fucking I ticket. Trust you will have an enjoyable visit. And if there is any way in which I can kiss up some more, sir, I trust you will let me know. But of course. Sounds like my Discord chat when I when I entered the stream. Oh, look at that dog! Now, this is the deck party. Before I join the festivities, I should let Monkey Penny know I'm here. Yes, I should. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. <laughs> Hi, Spy Fox. How's the mission progressing? I just made it onto the SS Deadweight. I'm going to take a look around. Good. Keep your eyes peeled for clues as to where William the Kid's secret fortress is. If Kid's Fortress is so secret, how come we know about it? We're spies, Spy Fox. That's right. It's our job to know. And we are good at our jobs. Spy Fox out. Spy Fox out. Mitch involved in this milk hunt. And now let's uh, let's go in here. What's in here? Oh, shit. Timekeeper shift change. What do I got to do with this? Uh... <laughs> Looks like now that's a frog suit. A I frog it suit. Any amphibious occasion. Can I take it? Just to slide that in there. A frog suit like <laughs> this might come in handy, <laughs> especially considering the worldwide dairy prices at hand. That's right. <laughs> Just put it in my pocket. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to do with this yet. I'm gonna hold off touching that until later. Brandon. <laughs> Oh my god, you guys! <laughs> oh, I see! I, there's a frog suit! He's a frog, right? Pardon me, I'm looking for the restroom. This is the bridge. The head's down below. Actually, I need to go pretty bad, too. But of course, I'm not allowed to leave my post. The shift's over at two chickens and a car horn. Then my replacement shows up. Oh, well, hang on tight. I'm sure your relief will come soon. One way or another. Okay, said two. I can gather information about the sailor watchman on the SS Two chickens. Headway. With this. He said two chickens and a what? I don't know what he said. I'm, I'm lost. I got distracted by Brandon's milk chat. So I missed out. Shit. So two chickens and a something. But I know now that I have to go here and change this and then disguise myself as the replacement to go up there and get in his spot so I can do something. But let's try this. I wonder what this gadget does. It looks like something Quack would come up with. That's a chick. No, it's a rooster. Yeah, no, this is not. I haven't heard so many interesting sounds since I ate that garbanzo bean burrito. Not sure what, uh, what, what the, I can't remember what he said. That's the problem. So let me try asking around to see if I can find out what the specific code is. What's with that guy on the bridge? Why is he so serious about guarding the SS Deadweight? Darling Fox, maybe you don't understand that I am an international business feline. My deals are not always made, shall we say, in a single location. Okay. okay. The SS Deadweight makes clandestine journeys from the island. Very interesting. Very. I never said that, regardless of whether or not it's true. Oh, she sounds too smart for me because I didn't follow much of what she said either. Just let him find some milk. Yes. I want milk. You want cow milk? You can't have cow milk because it's been stolen! He stole all the cow milk and there's goat milk now. That's it. 
What's with that sailor on the bridge? Why is he so serious about guarding the SS Deadweight? Right. He's a strange lad, all right. He only seems to care about making it to happy hour on time. He makes me nervous. Oh. Why is that? I thought he was going to bite my head off once when I tried to look at the maps on the bridge. It's top secret stuff, you know. And so what we learned was essentially I have to go to find happy hour uh, somewhere to get that guy off of the shift. I don't even know why I'm doing this, first of all. I don't know why I need to be up there. But I just, like, I'm following the clues where they lead me. And I have to do five. There it is, happy hour 12 to 2. So I need to go 12 to 2. Let me, uh, hold on, wait. Let me go back. Let me go back. And I'm gonna find out, I'm gonna go in the in there and, wait, can I, first of all? I might be locked. It might not be 12. It is, okay, so I can ask some people about the, Guy. Hi, honey. Welcome to the cantina. Hey, sugar. I'm B Bear. If there's anything I can get you, sugar, like for example, sugar. That's right, baby. You just let me know. Okay, right. baby. Thanks, B. That's right. And I got some fucking questions for you, B, baby. What do you know about this sailor from the SS Deadweight? Oh, that Sal comes in every day straight from work. What time is that? What time? He shows up here 17 minutes after the start of happy hour. 17 minutes after the start of happy hour. So that's 1217. We've cracked the code. Let's go put 1217 in there. See what happens. Uh, and I think I just put the suit on in the room. I don't know actually how I'm going to do this, but I know what the time is 1217. And we should be good. So let's go press one. Interesting. This seems to be some sort of a high-tech alarm clock. That's right. This could be helpful. After all, they say timing is everything. Yes, it is. So let's keep pressing that button. Boop, 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 bat, beep, bat, boop, bat, boop, 12. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, 12, one, two, three. Bing! <laughs> That's it. That's the sound the sailor told me indicates the end of his shift. We solved it! Okay, so now we go upstairs, and he's probably wanting to get off his shift, but we don't... I don't know when to put the costume on. Oh, wait, maybe now? He's not looking at me. His eyes are <laughs> bugging out the side of his head, but, you know, we can try it. Uh, let's go here. That's not going to do me any good. Uh, That's not going to do me any good. Where do I put it on? That's not going to do me any good. Do I put it on below? Am I, I might do that, yeah. Let's go here and try that. Mitch, tell Brandon he can't drink human milk, please. He can drink mine, but nobody else's. So he can ask me and me alone. That's not going to do me any good. But what do I do? How do I get him out of there? Mitch, where's Lizzie? She's at home sleeping. <laughs> Why do you want to know, Brandon? Didn't you hear the clock? What are you still doing here? I know. I heard it. I could leave now if only my replacement was here. Unless you're the guy. Uh, yes. As a matter of fact, I am your replacement. Oh! Consider yourself replaced. How can you be my relief if you're not wearing a sailor hat? Right. What was I thinking? Sailor hat? What? I have the frog costume. You're a frog. Or you might be a lizard. I'm not sure. But still, where's this sailor hat that I have to find? No. Um, I mean, maybe I can get one from the guy in the sailor boat. I'm guessing maybe I can get one there. Brandon, <laughs> wait, what? Brandon, you cannot drink Lizzie's milk. What are we talking about here? <laughs> so, Captain, do you think you could take me out for a little boat ride? Please. I'd love to, but there's just one problem. I can't go anywhere without my lucky charm. Your lucky charm? Lucky charm. Hi, matey. <laughs> because that there is the sea, the final frontier. And my voyage is on the SS Winter Prize. On a 25-year mission to seek out new sea life and new civilizations, I wow. boldly went where no raccoon has gone before. Wow! But without my lucky charm, it would be way too risky. I can't chance it. Man, this boy needs his lucky charm. I can gather information about Captain Drydock and his lucky charm with this. But I still need the hat. Wait, can I ask about him here? What do you know about the sailor up there on the bridge of the SS Deadweight? He's a persnickety one. All right, I recall <gasps> seeing him in the cantina. Uh! 
the cantina, the horror of the cantina. This guy is bugging. So touchy. This guy is on drugs or some shit. Mitch's milk might be a little salty. What are you talking about? <laughs> shit. That's all I'm hearing. <laughs> I expected this stream to be- oh look at me dancing. I expected this stream to just be like straight up spy talk and shit, but suddenly it turns into human milk. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Cause Brandon decided to tell everyone he tasted his sister's milk. I don't know where I can find a thing. <laughs> not in there, not in there, nope. But why do I need the frog costume? It makes no sense to me, uh... I need a sailor's hat? I'm not sure where I can find one. I haven't been on that can to canteen thing though, so I'm gonna try going there quick. I'm gonna ask about the captain, uh, to see if I can find some more information. I don't think I need anything else from you. Maybe you, I don't know what you're doing there. Um, but let's ask her about the captain instead. And see what she says. What do you know about Captain Drydock and his lucky charm? That's oh, right. That was a night to remember. Elaborate, please. Yeah, tell Captain me. Captain Drydock dared to play go fish with Mr. Big Pig. <gasps> Suddenly, when egos get crushed over a game of go fish, no. Captain Drydock hasn't shown his face in here since. Oh. I see. Drydock lost the charm in a game of go fish. Oh, do I have to go win it back? Greetings. Used to do a little game of go fish. His Mr. voice. Fox. Spy Fox. I've been known to play Go Fish from time to time, and you are? Artemis J. Big Pig. Pleased to make your acquaintance, sir. What do you say we make this game a little more interesting? This guy's voice! Care to play with some trinkets? Yes! I just happen to have a whole jar of trinkets. Yes! <laughs> Excellent, then. I like a fox who is willing to play for trinkets with a pig who likes to play Go Fish for trinkets. <laughs> this place your trinkets on the table and we'll get started. Oddly specific, but still. This guy's voice is crazy cool! So, you like playing for trinkets, eh? All right, I'm game. Here's my trinket. Let's play. That's a lovely trinket. Ooh. I'll play with this one. But wait! No! Go back! Go back! Can I leave? Go back! Now, I can talk to Mr. Big Pig about some of the folks I've met on the island. That's right. I'm asking about this what guy. What do you know about Captain Drydock and his missing lucky charm? <laughs> Pearl Sap lost it in a particularly tense game of Go Fish. Oh, really? So this is the lucky charm, then? Hmm, yes. And I won't give it up easily. And you know that Go Fish is my game. So can I play for it? That's a charming little charm you have there. What? This old trinket? Merely a worthless bobble. I had the pleasure of winning an intriguing Go Fish match several weeks ago. Can I, can I play for it? That's the question. Can I stop this game and play for that thing? Because I want to. 